War Gaming Beat Map Bat Rap. Welcome back to Beat Map Bat Rap Season Two, Episode Seventeen: Necrons vs. Grey Knights. Entering Necrons Round Two. So these uh, warriors and the Lord are going to move out of the crater in hopes to be able to get closer to his assassin to try to kill it. Lichguard move up. That's what they have to do. They cannot stay back, otherwise it'll just slowly whittle down to nothing. They're going to try to take out the Dread Knight as best as possible. His Land Raider is a little close, so I'm able to probably charge it with my Scarab Swarm, so I hope that can do something. But he did move cruising speed, which means it is going to be sixes to hit. So even with 20 hits from four Scarab bases, that's not a lot of likely to do a lot of damage. Mainly and also because the Land Raider is armor 14, so I'm going to have to strip off a lot of armor. Firing at the Assassin, unfortunately, did no damage to him. The other Harbinger, the other Cryptek, is firing into the Dread Knight and actually manages to wound it. And... He fails to save, and so lo and behold, he actually managed to wound something. I think that's the first time my Cryptex have ever done any damage. Scarab Swarms are running because they do have fleets, so they will be able to charge. I'm going to fire from the Ghost Arc into the Land Raider, just trying to get lucky. Unfortunately, no glancing hits. Other shot goes into the Dread Knight at a long distance and manages to hit and actually wound him a couple times. And out of those two, he does fail another one. So lo and behold, the Dread Knight is actually down a couple of wounds. That's softening him up for the Lich Guard. Firing from the other Ghost Arc, who's in rapid fire range, and all the occupants inside, actually managing to do very little. In fact, nothing at all. And then the Ghost Arc itself is going to try to glance the Dreadnought, but fails to do so. Assault phase, we got the Scarab Swarm that charged at 12 inches. The one's not going to be in range, but the other three are. And then the Lich Guard charging into the Dreadnought, and the Overlord into the Land Raider as well. So we got the only 15 attacks and hit on six. He's actually managed three, four hits, but only one armor stripped. So that's the armor 13 all around now. Overlord has a chance to do something, but unfortunately fails to do any hits. Of course, he had to roll a six. So that Land Raider is still fine and pretty much undamaged. So the fight against the Dread Knight goes on, and the Dread Knight doesn't actually manage to do any damage. The Lich Guard gets hit back. Not all of them are in combat. And it actually managed to take it down another wound. And so it takes one extra wound due to combat resolution, but does not fail to save that. So it's still alive, which is probably good for me because it means he's not going to be able to fire my Lich Guard. It's always nice that you charge him in your turn and you do lots of damage. and He doesn't do any damage to you, but he still stays stuck in combat. And that means that during your turn you can hopefully destroy him. Land Raider moves a bit and unloads its payload of the Grey Knight Terminators. The other Dread Knight moves up as, lo as well as the Dreadnoughts and the, the, uh, the one Razorback. The other Razorback deploys his Grey Knights who then move up 6 inches at the same time. That's why you saw them move out 8 inches there. The Assassin runs for cover. That was his moving and then running. Um, trying to get out of the rapid fire range of my guys. Got the Flamer from the Land Raider. Actually fails to do much, any damage to the Overlord but kills two of the bases instantly. And we still have other shots from it as well, but I actually managed to make what little cover saves I can get. Fire from Crow as well, from his, I think it's just his Storm Bolter, and fails to do any damage. The, gray, uh, the Terminators fire into the Overlord, hoping to soften him up from the charge in, but actually don't even wound him at all, so I don't even have to roll for armor saves. Shot from the Twin Link uh, last cannon, actually hits and manages to glance, uh, which is, becomes a crew stun, but I did ignore that using the Living Metal. Fire from the other um, last cannon does miss altogether. Shot from the Dreadnought, however, does manage to penetrate and it wrecks the vehicle. Actually, it would glance and wreck the vehicle. And they do not run, they're not pinned. And then the Grey Knights here charge in. They're going to be facing off to the to the Overlord by themselves. And hopefully we'll remember to do Mind Shackle Scarabs this time. And these Grey Knights then are charging into this Overlord as well. And Crow going after the Scarab Swarms. Now, what we had forgotten to do is they, they did their psychic thing that gives them all plus one strength, I believe it was, but he got Perils of the Warp, so he lost one of his guys. And then he attacks and manages to take down two of the wounds of the Overlord. The Overlord survives, hits back, and manages to kill one of the Great Knights. And so it actually loses. I lose combat, but I don't run. But still, that was enough nice that he um, that he lost a couple guys. I did forget to use my enchantment on the Scarabs. So, Cast and Crow only manages one wound on the Scarabs, but when I hit him back... Um, I fail to wound him, and I take one extra wound to combat resolution. And then we have the Grey Knights here attacking the Overlord, um, doing lots of hits, and then actually wounding him twice. It brings him down to only 
one wound left, so he stays alive. Luckily, they didn't use their force weapons because they had already done their psychic thing to give them plus one strength. The Dread Knight fails to wound any of the, the Lich Guard. They actually make their invulnerable saves, and then they go to hit him back, and they kill him. So combat, and I still get to attack with the, the Overlord as well. So that was Thai combat. They inflicted two wounds on the Overlord, and I killed the last one on the Dread Knight and one Great Knight. So tie combat there. So nice little victory for the Necrons at that point, because now hopefully during my turn I'll be able to finish off those Grey Knights without any problems. So end of round two, not looking very good for the Necrons as they are uh, losing their vehicles left, right, and center. The Overlord there being pinned down by those Terminators, although he is pretty strong against them. Luckily I gave him Phase Shifter with three plus and vulnerable save. I think that's the only thing that's keeping him alive at this point. But can the Necrons push back? Find out in round three. Click on the annotation if you're on YouTube. If you're on Mini Wargaming, click the link below. And don't forget to subscribe.